So hello everybody, thank you for joining today's web talk, adding valuable insight and really driving business decisions with our Fresco reporting and analytics. Today's presenter will be Abby, she is a business analyst here at Zizi. If you do have any questions today, please just type them in the chat box and we'll get to answer to you at the end of the session. And we will be sending out a recording to everybody that has joined us today. Thank you again, over to Abby. Hi everyone, uh, so today I'll be presenting about Alfresco reporting with Pentaho. So, we all know what is Alfresco. It's a smart enterprise content management solution which helps us to manage our content effectively. But, what is Alfresco analytics and reporting? Before I give a standard definition, let me introduce you to Mrs. Rita. She is a business analyst in a large organization. She analyzes the business domain and document its business or process or system. She also uses Alfresco to help her with this operation. She creates users, sites, add content, and manage user permission. But she easily loses track of all these activities. She loses track of how many sites she has created, what are the content activity over a given time period, how many pending user invitations are there, and what are the active collaborators for a particular site, and what are the active trends across the site. As a result, she fails to produce valuable business insight and she takes very long time to perform her task. But then again, she found an ultimate solution to help her with her task which is Alfresco Analytics. It helps her to do reporting on Alfresco instances, content, user, for a particular date and time, and a lot more, in a very short time period. So now she is happy and she creates meaningful report. So hope now you understand what is Alfresco Analytics. It provides the solution to extract, store, and query audit data by allowing any user to access smart reporting and analytics in a simple and user-friendly way. Now, let me tell you why Alfresco Analytics is the best solution for your business. First one, build custom reports. You can create your reports by simply selecting the parameter which you want to see. Make your own dashboards. The dashboard is a collection of various reports. You can add a favorite report on your dashboard for a quick look. It shows you a snapshot view of the report that is customizable, handy and quick access to your entire data of your favorite report is the greatest advantage of dashboards. View the data in graphical representation. There are several options to represent the data in various ways. Some options are ordinary table view, pie chart, bar chart, and etc. It gives a quick snapshot of the data. View the data for a particular time frame. Setting the time frame is one of the most important feature when reporting out of Alfresco Analytics because you're able to select your reporting period grouping the data by day, weeks, or even month. Then, export the data in different formats. Export feature that allows you to download the reports in PDF, Microsoft Excel, or CSV file. These downloads will give you the flexibility to cater the reports to your user in different ways. Finally, it's very user-friendly. You can easily make your own reports without having any technical knowledge. So, don't you find you found a solution for what you're searching for? Let me give you more insight about Alfresco Analytics. With this Alfresco Analytics, you can create interactive dashboards and reports into your Pentaho environment. The dashboards and reports could be completely customized for your needs. For example, you could build your own reports or your own dashboards. Let me take you through a quick demo on how Alfresco Analytics work. Analytics option is available to the user who are belongs to the analytics group. For example, analytics 
administrator at analytics business analyst or analytics system will be able to access the analytics report. For example, if the particular user login, she will be able to see the analytics option in her menu bar. Whereas, a member who is not part of any of the groups logs in, she won't be able to see the option in her menu bar. All analytic reports are viewed by adding a dashboard to a user or site dashboard. The reports are split into two. The first one is the My Report. Analytics across the whole of Alfresco available by adding them to your Alfresco dashboard. The second one, Site Reports. Analytics on a specified site can be seen by any Alfresco user who is a member of a site. Let us have a look at how my report work. Here you can create your own customized report or else you can use the existing reports. Let us quickly create a report. So if you want a report for to see the basic user information, what you have to do is you have to simply drag and drop the attributes in. So here you can see a complete picture where you can see the user, the sites which they are belongs to, the site visibility and how many files are there in each site. There is also filter options. Say for example you have a huge set of data but you just want to see a particular user's information. You can simply drag and drop the full name and you can just choose the user whom you want to see the information. So you can see only the information only for the particular user. You can view this data in graphical representation. The same data will be viewed in a most user interactive way. Also, you can save this report. Now, when you go to your dashboard and if you want all your reports to appear on your dashboard, you have to simply click on the tools option and add those reports as your dashboard. So now you can see all the reports in your dashboard. The first report, most active user reports, you can see the users who have been actively using the system and what are the transactions they have done. You also can view them by different date range. The second one, My Activity Reports. Here you can see all the activities which you have performed over a period of time. This information you won't be able to get or you won't be able to save it in anywhere else. You can see how many times I have logged in over the past 30 days and how many sites I have created and all those information. The third one is the custom reports. So these are the reports which you have created. So you can see the report which we created a while ago, user details. Now let us have a look at pending invites. What usually happens is when you create a site and when you start inviting users to join your site, then sometimes you lost track of how many users accepted your invitation and how many invitations are still pending. So usually what you do is you go to a particular site and you see how many users uh, still didn't accept your invitation. But with this report, you can simply see all the users and how many users have accepted your invitation or how many users' invitations are still pending and all those information in one click. You can also export this in PDF or Excel format. For example, you can see the same report in the Excel format which you can use it for further purpose. Now we had a look at how the reports behave in a user dashboard. Now let us have a look at when you go to a particular site, 
and what are the reports available there. Here you can see site specified information as I told you. The first report, site contributor breakdown, you can see the users and how many users are actively contributed to the site by adding files or previewing them and so on. Here you can see the site file type breakdown. So you can get a complete picture of how many files are there and what type of files are there in the particular site. Also, you can see the site activity and the user activity. So you can see uh, the site members and the transaction which we have performed and again you can see it in different date range. Let me tell you what you need to have in order to have this awesome solution. You should have Alfresco 5, the latest version, and MySQL and the Pentaho environment. We assure when you start using Alfresco Analytics, you will definitely gain some insight which will help your business process. Thank you. Thank you very much, Abby, for your talk. If you do have any questions, um, I will be sending out the, uh, the recording, so I'll put um, Abby's details in there and we can get them answered for you. Thanks very much for joining. Hope to see you on our next web talk. Thank you, Abby. Bye-bye.